Hi, in this video we will have a look at DevOps attachments. So one of my YouTube subscriber asked me a question. How do I fetch the attachment list from the work item and copy to another work item? Okay, so in this video what I will show you is how to read the attachments from the work item. So here is my attachment called epic test one and I have got one attachment here called invoice.pdf okay so how do I get this attachment so for this I'm going to use the power automate and for the demonstration purpose I'm going to use the manual trigger okay my next step is going to be the Azure DevOps action step okay and if you look the attachments there is nothing there actually so what we need to use here is we need to use send an http request to azure devops okay so by default i got the connection you know i got my connectivity um, the authentication connection to the uh, azure devops so that's connected and if not you know you need to click on add new connection enter your credentials and so and so okay once you're done, select your organization name there. This is mine. And I'm going to say get. And then what I need is I need to, because I'm mine, it's a manual trigger. I'm going to hard code my, um, the work item. Okay. So what you need here is you need um, this relative URI. This is API we want to, to get the work items. So you can see here, um, you know, the work item is 57 here. So there we go, that's 57. If I open that, you can see that's 57, yeah? Okay, the next step is, I'm going to add a compose here. And under the compose, I'm going to collect the body of the results, okay? Let's save this flow and run. Finally, you know, we can check the body of the result there. I'm going to run it manually here. Right, okay, let's inspect the compose. So if I click on the show row output, the input and the output is same for compose. There's no difference. So here I can see quite a lot of things here. What I'm inter inter interested here is uh, my, um, attachment here we go I can see the invoice.pdf there and there is an ID here so this is not the ID we want to retrieve it and the actual URL to download is this is the uh, you know the attachment URI we want see that so you can see the last a1 this guild this is the guild for you know getting the attachment so how do I get that so the plan next is okay let's Put your cursor inside the output, press Ctrl A and Ctrl C. That means it's going to copy that in the clipboard. Then the new step, I'm going to add a pass JSON step. Okay, pass JSON step. Map the output or the body. Okay, I'm going to make the body now because I know what the body looks like. I'm going to delete this. So it's one step less to execute then. Okay, then click on generate sample. Place your cursor inside and press Ctrl V. Paste it. Okay, that's done. So that's straightforward. Once it's done, then I'm going to add the compost here again, adding a compost. Yeah. Then what we want, what I am interested here is, I'm interested here is the URL. We probably seen the URL there earlier. I can show you that here. So under that here, The, under the relations, uh, you can see the URL there. But if I search for the URL here, you can see quite a lot there. I don't know which one it is. So all you can do is just put it here. I know that's an array. So you can see here, that's an array. So it should put that in and apply to each. So that's not the one. I'm going to try the second one. No, that's not the one. Third one, no. Fourth one, no. And fifth one yeah fifth one you know put in the loop i can see the relations being mapped also so i'm going to remove all the other url url then 
there we go that's when we got so it's in the apply to each loop and that's the relations we want to you know under that our attachment is there we've seen that earlier okay um so once that done what we want to do now is i'm going to run it and show you how that's going to look like um it doesn't matter i can use the automatic uh, trigger or the manual one you know right okay so let's expand the apply to each expand the combos if you go i got that record now i've only got one attachment if i got more than one i I will get one of, you know, if I click next, I should be able to see the next one. Okay, let's inspect this then. So, could edit this again. Add a compose again here. Just paste that value here and looks like how it's going to look like. Here we go. So what I am after is I'm after a, this ID. That's the ID of the attachment. Okay. So to get that, what we want is I can see there are lots of slashes here actually. So I'm going to use the sp split expression to get the last value of that, you know, uh, the good. That is the uh, attachment ID. Okay. So let's clear that. Go into the expression. And, um, you know, you can rename this also. Um, say attachment ID. There we go. And then that's the URL. Um, okay. Now here I'm going to say uh, split. Click on the dynamic content. Select the previous output compose. Comma. My separator here is the slash. There we go. Slash. That's done. But that's going to give me an array actually. So, but I want only the last one in that. So put the last split is going to give me an array. You can see that last of that array. So go all the way up and put bracket there. That's what we want. Okay, let's copy this. Update. I generally put add as a node there as what the expression it is. There we go. That's the expression I used. Right, I'm going to run this and show you what's outcome is. Hopefully, we are going to get the attachment ID there. Right, let's have a look. There we go, that's that's the good we got. Okay, now the next step is I'm going to you know execute another uh, HTTP um, action step so Azure DevOps send HTTP action step here okay so what we want to do here is again select the organ organization name here then the get then what we want what, what we want is we want that we want underscore api slash wit slash attachment slash the id that's the output attachment id slash uh, not the slash question mark then the version is important here api uh, hyphen version equals 7.1 okay let's uh, collect that output in a compose so i'm going to add a, another compose here Okay, here we go. And um, I could say something like um, attachment details. That's what we are going to get there. The content basically with uh, the name, uh, not the name, the file type and uh, the blob. So get the body there. That's uh, from the previous step. Yeah. Right. Let's run it again and see the output. Okay, so let's check the attachment details. Here we go, content type, and I got the content. What I'm after here is the content. That's what I want. So let's edit this again. And um, what we want to do here is we want to get, uh, we, we know that's a content here. So how do I get the content? So if I, if I add another compose here, 
meaning the attachment content right so what we want is we want to add that output here this was generally i do so that's output details but i want to extract the content only let's copy that oops <laughs> do it again highlight it and copy that again clear that go to the expression paste it remove all the at signs and the brackets and all here we go that's what we want output of or you can type it like this outputs of the previous step remember to put an underscore here because I got attachment space there. If you got the space there and if you are referring that under the expression, you need to put that as an underscore, okay? Then question mark, two square bracket, dollar we want. We seen the dollar there and say content. That's what I'm after. Okay, hopefully this time I will get only the content of that PDF file. There we go, see? So here I can see dollar content and that's my starting with J, V, B. There we go, that's the content. Right, now we want to collect the name also, don't you? So the name coming from, uh, again there is a name there inside um, uh, that relations um, array. So add another compose. Always put some meaningful names. So rename this to attachment uh, name. Okay, and uh, search for the name, that's it. So you can see that the name should be here somewhere here, that's the name. There we go, that's that's attributes, question mark, name it is. Yeah, that's what that is, yeah. So we got that, and, uh, because that's coming from this past days and the name also, yeah. Um, uh, so we got that. Sorry, that's coming from the relations, attributes, name it is, yeah. Okay, so the next thing is, uh, suppose I want to send this an email or create a file in SharePoint, yeah? Um, I know, uh, you know, my subscriber asked me, uh, how do I get the item and copy to another work item? Um, so if you look my this video, you know, you can see how I create that attachment. So I'm not going to go through it again because you, I shown you here, how do I get the content and the name? So in this instance, I'm going to show you uh, how to send this an email so send an email step action step I'm going to use okay send an email and um, I'm going to send it to myself here okay and uh, say file attachments from DevOps there we go uh, please see attachment oops can spell it right okay now here the attachment name okay so the attachment name, here we go, that's attachment name. Now the content, and for the content, just search for output, you can see attachment content also there. Here it is, okay. If you got more than one, suppose you got more than one, what you need is, you. I got another video about it, how to collect more than one, uh, you know, the files. Have a look on that. Um, you need a, another compose and construct that as an append and then finally you can place it under here. You need to press this T sign and push that into as an array actually basically. That's all it is. Yeah. Uh, so that's that. At the same time I'm going to show you, okay, suppose I want to move this into a SharePoint area. So create file. Okay. So for that SharePoint connector here, create file here and I'm going to use here the my site. The folder that is going to be my document uh, library. I'm going to use the test one here. Here we go. And then again, the file name. So I'm going to use the output. I can see attachment name. That's what I want. Then for the content, again, use the output. And then you can see attachment content. That's what I want. Okay. Okay. Right. Save this flow and uh, run it again. Right. Hopefully, I should get an email. And also under my test one, uh, in share under SharePoint, it should create that file also. Okay. Meantime, I'm going to log on to my SharePoint site called test one. Okay, here it is. Right. Looks like all good here. I can see the email gone through, and my create file also gone. All good. I think looks like. 
Okay, let's have a look here. Yeah, here we go, a few seconds ago. That's my latest file. Or if I look for newer to older, you can see my invoice.pdf there. But if I open this PDF, ah, see that? This is a generic error. I purposely made this error to show that. So I'm able to preview this file and I can't, you know, you can't see that. Why, why that file is not, you know, the file is not a readable format it is. So what you need to do here is, let me uh, go back to the flow now again and um, go to my, uh, this one here. Okay, remove the attachments from both file out, both content, file content and here. Place your cursor here. What you need is, you need to converse, convert this into the base 64, so uh, binary. So this is, this is what you need. Otherwise, you will see the attachment, but you won't be able to open it. So base 64 to binary you want, click on the dynamic and select the output of the it's got a lot of yeah output from the attachment content here it is see that attachment content output so that's what we want i'm going to copy this uh, so that i can use it below that's done then for the file content it's going to be the same here paste that same thing so remember you know i'm copy this over here so i had a note here it is again add a note here here it is see that that's the expression base to uh, base 64 to binary okay let's try this again i'm going to delete my uh, file here okay i deleted that right that's gone right run it again hopefully it should be good this time Right, okay, so flow uh, uh, ran successfully um, and uh, let's go back to SharePoint site, refresh that, here we go. Now I am going to click on my invoice, let's click on it, hopefully I should be able to preview this time. Ah, here we go, that's all good, okay. Now um, let's check my email also, okay. Right, okay, here it is. That's my email arrived and you can see file attachment from DevOps. Please see attachment, click on it. I should be able to preview it, here it is. See that? So that's the way you can retrieve this. You know, you need to use the, the APIs to retrieve it. The important thing here is you need to get the relations uh, then under the compost, you need to get that URL and from that URL again, we need to use this expression here to get the last ID, which is that attachment ID of that file. Then execute, uh, you know, um, another, um, you know, the, um, the DevOps um, API endpoint, passing the ID here with the version here, and then we are good, good, you know. Remember here also, uh, you need to put dollar expand equals all. This is quite important. If you don't put this, you don't see the attachment details. Okay, so lots of uh, people have seen in the forums like, oh, I can't see it, I'm executing work item slash 57, uh, or whatever the ID it is, uh, but people are forgetting to put dollar expand equals all. Okay, that's it. Hope this is useful. Thank you for watching.